welcome back to another Heather Mac Reacts. Today, we are reacting to more Am I the A-hole posts on Reddit. I hope you're ready, cause I'm ready to get fired up. I'm ready. <laughs> okay, let's start. Oh, don't forget to subscribe and like, please. Thanks, bye. No, don't leave. I just meant thanks. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. I haven't had enough coffee yet. This is lack of coffee. This is not too much coffee. This is the delirium that comes before the coffee. Okay, let's get to the post. Am I the a-hole for taking a picture of my sister's husband's car outside of his workplace, workplace and sending it to her? This is vague. I don't know what to make of it so far. <laughs> Taking a picture of a husband's car doesn't seem bad. It seems like maybe you're snitching. Maybe it's deserved. Let's see. Let's get into it. My female 25 dad, pa me female 25. My dad passed away days ago. My sister's husband at uh, male 31 said he couldn't be present for the funeral because he had to go on a business trip out of town, which made my sister more devastated. She's got so much on her plate, pregnancy and my nephew, my nephew and now dad's death. Brother-in-law is a grade A workaholic and, is effect and it's affected his social life, but he refuses to admit it. The day of the funeral, my boyfriend was the one driving us. He, we drove past my brother-in-law's workplace at 8 p.m. and saw his car in the parking lot. I couldn't believe it. I know his car will since well since he used to drive me to school with it sometimes i took a picture of it and sent it to my sister my sister was losing it so my boyfriend suggested we bail he dropped me off at a friend's house and later i found out that my sister found that her husband was in town the entire time but lied so he didn't have to skip work for the funeral so you love work more than your wife there's only one that's gonna give a crap about you in the end. There was a huge blow up and he called me yelling, saying I had no business stalking him at his workplace and taking pictures of his vehicle. My family are mad at him, but also at me because they said I stirred shit and caused my sister more sister. <laughs> caused my sister more sister. I think it's supposed to be stress. Now that she's arguing with brother-in-law about him purposely missing the funeral. My boyfriend said I did the right thing. Am I the a-hole? Uh, no, not the a-hole. Your allegiance is to your sister and not this man who is more concerned with his job than he is with his family and his wife going through the death of her father. Listen, I just lost my father a few weeks ago. We weren't very close this is not someone that i grew up with seeing every day but he was my dad and uh you know he was sick with dementia these past few years and you know things had gone downhill i'd kind of said mini goodbyes throughout the months but it's still not easy to lose a parent it's not easy, easy to lose anyone and this guy would rather be at work my husband hated going to work actually he had off the the day after so he was with me when you know i had to go to the funeral home and all that so that was great and if he had to work he would have just taken the day off like no uh no, <laughs> not the a-hole. I want to know what you think. This one's a little dark and not funny, but uh, yeah, no, I don't think this girl's the a-hole for tattling on her brother-in-law. He was being a jerk and he deserved to be told on. Let me know what you think in the comments. Let's move on to the next one. Am I the a-hole for angrily telling my friend that he was not the victim in his relationship? angrily telling is that necessary i mean maybe let's say i 28 male have a friend bill 29 male we are part we are part a whole group have been friends for at least 10 years and some of the men and women have ended up marrying each other yeah point is we have all known each other for a very long time now bill has always displayed narcissistic personality traits especially in his past relationships he's a very condescending person and thinks that he's better than everyone else because he has a well-paying job owns his own house and car all of that in comparison some of the other guys still live with family and such in his mind they haven't grown up and he's better than them according to you well, if i can trust that uh <laughs> that judgment <laughs> it's usually easy to ignore because he's very charismatic and brings in new people to the group in past relationships he has been really awful giving girlfriends a checklist of stuff they need to change to be with him commenting on their appearance etc 
oh, he sounds lovely. <laughs> but because a lot of this was years ago, I think most of, most of us hope he'd grow. But because this, be but because a lot of this was years ago, I think most of us hoped he'd grow out of it. He always describes all of his exes as crazy and we usually believed him. Some we could confirm were crazy because we met, we met them and with the ones we didn't meet, we just believed his stories. Enter his new girlfriend, Sarah, who's 33 female. They started dating in July, 2021. We all got to know her and she is awesome. She's very down to earth and friendly. She was basically become friends with everyone. Well, Bill asked Sarah to move in with him at the end of April, 22. She did since she saw the relationship getting more serious. Then at the end of June, 2022, Bill randomly broke up with her. When asked what happened, he says that he just hated that his house no longer felt like his house because of all of her stuff. Yeah, that's what happens when you ask someone to move in with you, which everyone thinks is ridiculous. Agreed. <laughs> Well, unfortunately, with the housing and rental market being what it is right now, Sarah had trouble finding a place to move that would meet her needs. She found one place that she took, but the place isn't available until September 30th, so she had to stay living with Bill. I know from talking with both of them that Sarah wanted to be as mature and friendly about the whole thing as possible, but Bill has done nothing but be as antagonistic as possible. He's done stupid stuff like blaring the TV when he knows she's trying to sleep, and he's also done really cruel things like calling up a booty call, putting her on a speakerphone and talking to her about when they could hook up when he knew Sarah could hear it. This guy's a piece of work. Why is anyone friends with him? <laughs> anyway, the guys were all hanging out and Bill kept complaining, trying to sound like the victim in the situation. And I finally said, stop trying to play the victim. No one here thinks you're the victim in this. Actually, if you could have been mature about the breakup, then there wouldn't be any victims. This would have just been a relationship that hadn't worked out, but you made Sarah the victim by all of your actions. So just stop bitching and get over it. Everyone else agreed with me, but Bill got pissed and left. Am I the a-hole for how I handled it? Nope. Bill needs to be put in his place, in his place, <laughs> literally. He is a big jerk and I don't know why any of y'all are friends with him. Like, oh, cause he's fun, he's funny, he's charismatic. Sounds like a sociopath to me. Sounds like someone who can't actually care about anyone but himself to me. Disclaimer, I am not a healthcare professional or a mental health care professional, but if it quacks like a duck and it looks like a duck, it might be a duck. Yeah, no, not the a-hole. I don't know what y'all think. Uh, did he need to yell in front of everyone else? Did Bill need to uh, be the way he was to everyone, including every girl he's been with? Nah, not the a-hole. Let's move on. Okay, am I the a-hole for refusing to let my son have my daughter's necklace? I think we need more information. My late wife passed away six years ago. I have two kids, Adam 17 and Leah 15. Their mom inherited a necklace from her mother. Her mother inherited it from her mother. It's a tradition in the family to pass this necklace down to the daughters. My late wife gave me the necklace to keep and then give it to Leah when she's legally an adult. No one knew about this except my current wife. Well, she told Adam about it and he barged into my office the other day asking what his mom left for him. I was confused. I asked what's wrong and he brought up the necklace. I explained the sentiment behind it and told him I'm planning on giving it to his sister before she moves out for college. He demanded to have the necklace since he too is our child, but I said it was gifted to his sister specifically, not him. He went on about favoritism and whatnot, but I told him it's a tradition that involves only the daughters in the family. I told him it's his mom's wish and he should be respectful of it, especially when he has a ton of her stuff. He got enraged and called me and his mom's sexist assholes for agreeing on, let alone carrying on with this sexist bullshit. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I said I was done arguing and he went upstairs and stayed in his room after yelling at his sister. He refused to eat or speak to either me or Leah. My wife says I should give it to him to keep the peace, but I declined. I often find it funny when a man calls something sexist. <laughs> I often find it funny because it's usually not sexist. Uh, yeah, no, you're not the a-hole. Uh, this little boy is acting like a child and needs to get a grip. 
maybe he still is processing his mother's death. Maybe he needs therapy, probably needs therapy. Um, but you're not the a-hole and neither is your wife, ex-wife, late wife, and neither is your daughter. And basically Adam needs to get a grip. <laughs> Adam needs to get a firm grip on reality. Uh, I would like to know what you think. Leave it in the comments. We can agree to disagree. That's fine. But let me know what you think. Next story. <laughs> Am I the a-hole for calling the cops on my neighbor and getting my sister in trouble? Mm, sounds a little nosy. Was it your business? Let's see. Background. I, 40 female, and uh, am unmarried, no kids. My sister, 45 female, is married with three kids and bought a house about three to four years ago in the super nice suburb of the town. It's a great area, lots of parks, trails, with a really good school system. I found and bought a house in the same neighborhood. I loved it for the size of the yards, great for my dogs. Love, I can now walk or jog to all the trails and the local lake. It is, however, very suburban, and most of the people here have families, making me a little bit of an outlier. I'm fine with that. I don't really care. I live in the house by myself. Neighbors have been nice, but most of them hang out with each other and have play dates with the kids. There are neighborhood barbecues that I have been to. So a week ago, I'm watching TV at home around 9 p.m. and all of a sudden my, darks, my dogs start going crazy. My doorbell rings multiple times and then rapid knocking. I jump off the couch, look at my ring doorbell, and it's a stranger male knocking on my door. I have no idea who he is and he just keeps banging on my door my dogs are freaking out so i called the cops he goes away after about five to seven minutes the cops show up 20 minutes later i show them the video they told me they know who it is but they wouldn't tell me and then they left the next day i get a phone call from my sister she's super pissed that i called the cops on dave and how could i do that in this community i'm confused who is dave Oh, it's apparently the local neighborhood watch guy and school teacher and he thought I was driving too fast down the street and wanted to talk to me. I was flabbergasted. One, there's no way to drive fast in this neighborhood. There are stop signs everywhere and cops er everywhere. They have their own police force and there are speed bumps every two blocks. Two, why didn't he call slash text slash email before knocking on the door at 9 p.m. on anyone's house, let alone a single woman at home? Sister said that my reaction was totally over the top and you don't live in the hood anymore. People visit other people. They don't bang on your door like that girl i stand by my right to be safe and not get harassed by the neighbor sister is pissed because there was no danger whatsoever and apparently this was the discussion at the recent pta meeting and since i wasn't there why would i go to a pta meeting she was charged with defending me and now she looks bad by association she also brought up that i walk my dogs without a bra on all the time and that's just not good what the fuck she said WTF she wants me to reach out to Dave and apologize and say that I am absolutely sorry for calling the cops and driving fast she told me that I needed to play nice with the neighbors unless I wanted to be moving in a year maybe I did overreact but I am just so annoyed that I don't want to do anything related to that and maybe that makes me an a-hole thoughts no neighborhood watch fellow that does not give you the right to bang on my door at 9 p.m buddy i don't answer the door past like seven like there are normal business hours to conduct things like this and again like she said why didn't you call text or email before you felt the need to bang 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 on her door and also i was kind of thinking like oh maybe he just saw her speed down the road and he was like running no she she was in her house it was 9 p.m like she she didn't just speed down the road and he was running to catch up with her she was already in her house and he just decided that 9 p.m was the right time to do this no i would be speaking to whoever has hired him or elected him as the neighborhood watch and tell them that he's being completely inappropriate because that is not cool no i i'm i'm home my husband work night so it's just me and the dogs and my little boy and no if someone was bang bang banging on my door at 9 p.m i would call the freaking cops too and i wouldn't feel bad about it and i say dave you come to my property again i'll call the cops again buddy <laughs> i'm fired up <laughs> okay that's all we have for today i hope you enjoyed please like please subscribe please come back for a new video and i'll see you next time bye